All right, on to Spurs because they've had the ups and downs. Um, they showed a reaction in the second half. It was mm-hmm. good, but you're still going to be critical of their defender. No, no. <laughs> Lloris even himself said it after in the interview we did for French TV. He said, listen, we're going to look back at those three goals and we're going to be disappointed by the defending. The header, the tap-in, because the line, Sancho should be offside, really. The line, the line on that Matic ball is, is wrong. The and line is wrong, and then I still don't see. I mean, yeah, nice movement. Yeah, from yeah the lack of reaction, of course. Be, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the first goal. I'm sorry. I, like, I can't believe you, as an Italian, don't understand that Dyer has to close him down, even if it's, even if you force Cristiano to take an extra touch to try to dribble past you. That, that's time that he loses. Instead, it's a, it's a, it's the highway. And say, oh, go on, shoot, my friend. Let's see if you can score in the top corner. And of course, he does. It's not. Of course, it no, is no, a low percentage shot. It's Cristiano. We're talking here. How many goals like this has they, he scored? I, I don't know if Dyer forgot who it was. That, you know, <laughs> no, hey, no, look, no, that's but. not McTominay. That's Cristiano. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they don't look like it. But saying that, I thought I agree with you. There was a lot of positive. That the, the way they controlled that second half was really impressive. The way they came back in the game twice, you know, is impressive. I thought Kulusevski was superb. Really, he said he, he set it up for for Son so well in that second half. Son should have scored, and and they had a lot of really a lot of good things. For for a team that is still a bit limited in terms of talent, right? We we have to. Well, Conte would say that. Yeah. yeah, and Conte was not happy with the conceding again on set pieces, which is right. That corner at two two, this is a game that you should close out, take a point, but you can't concede a goal like this on a header for, against a team again like United, who scored one goal on the corner whole season before that. This is not acceptable. Are you surprised a little bit by Kulusevski's Completely. impact? Benton Core, I expected him to hit the ground running because you know he's he's tough and he's a midfielder. It's he an just easier adjustment everywhere. as well, you know, because he's played the same position broadly yeah, yeah. through. Yeah. But for Kulusevski, I was I'm amazed how good he's been straight away, pretty much. And I know he speaks the language, which helps, of course. But still, I, I just I like everything he does. I I was watching also because he's my fantasy team, so I wanted him right. to do well on Saturday. So I, I looked at him a lot, but everything he did it perfectly. The switch. The uh, the overlapping, when to pass the ball, when to cross, when to sh- a lot of the things he was 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 so um, yeah so precise, so good the right the right call, the right shots for such a young players. I was amazed by his decision making. Yeah, I think that's the thing that stood out because I obviously Kulusevski will to borrow an NBA term will present matchup problems right because mm. he has that he has that frame, he has a quickness, he can dribble, he's direct, blah blah blah. Um, but the fact that he's played so many different positions at Juve it was almost like the sense that I'm sure he learned a lot when he was there, but we never really saw it. Yeah. People are saying like, oh, look, you know, his decision making, he needs to grow, blah, blah, blah. Here, it seems that, I mean, I don't know if Conte just spends, you know, Maybe after training, like another yeah, two yeah. hours with him, yeah, making yeah. him run around an empty field, like moving from here to there. <laughs> um you know, that, that's what Arigo Saki used to do. You know, Arigo Saki, the great Milan yeah, manager. Yeah. He, Arigo Saki would be like, okay, I am the ball. And if I run here, what do you guys do? And they all move. Yeah, and if yeah. I run here, what do you do? What, you know, like, I, I could see Conte doing something mad like that. But, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think he's certainly surpassed my expectations Could thus far. Be. And it should be a case of somebody who really grows with, with Conte. Yeah. There's still a ton of work for Spurs to do. What do we think in terms of both these teams finishing top four because Arsenal obviously one point ahead of um, ahead of United. Arsenal do have those three games in hand. Yeah, but you know those three games who? are against Chelsea yeah. and Spurs away and Liverpool at home. Yeah. So it's entirely possible to get zero points. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not and very hard to get nine. Um, yeah, I don't think they're getting nine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah. would be you know then it would be incredible. You can give a the, the, the prize right there. No, it's right possible, there. but it's yeah, it's yeah. tough. Um, they're still in the running, but where's your, I mean, I what vibe are you getting? I think Spurs needs to win pretty much every single game between now and the, and the end of the season. So they're remaining 10 or I don't know. They, Spurs have played one more game than Arsenal. 20, yeah, 27 they are on. So there's 11 games to go. I think, but it's not just Arsenal. They have to overtake Wolves as well and West Ham and United and Arsenal to finish fourth. And I think I think that's a hell of a task. Not so much in terms of points, but making sure that you just overtake all those teams 
in your running. Yeah, and then none of those teams get hot at the wrong time because obviously that yeah, would, exactly. Uh, so that would mess winning you every up. single game, that's pretty much what Hugo said after the game as well. For United, it's a little bit different because they they you know they they ahead of of, of United um, of of Spurs. I still think Arsenal have the most momentum going. And also, again, don't play in Europe. I know Spurs don't play in Europe, but if United beat Atletico or qualify against Atletico uh, on, on Tuesday night, then it's an extra round into the Champions League, two more games with the travelling, with the this, with the that. And, and I think that would play into, into Arsenal's hands for sure. Same with West Ham, for example, in the Europa League, if they, if they beat Sevilla. All of that, I think, counts now. So we'll have to see. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.